Hi everyone, Cheryl here today with Kadoodlebug Designs and today we're going to be working with the Cutie Kadoodles Valentine Treats. And I thought that it was just so cute, this file. And you could use it for any time. It doesn't have to be Valentine's. So I kind of showed that, you know, doing it in a different color. And um, this is going to coordinate with some paper that I'm doing a project on. And so anyway, so I did do that. And so now we can go ahead and get started. And so what I first did was I separate all my pieces and I'm not sure if you can see, but I try to get them all separated here. And we'll put that right back like so. And the and so like the body doesn't need to really be distressed because you're not gonna see the body here. And so we didn't have to do the body. I did do the foot, the one, and we just, I did, the sides on that and then I did a couple of the toes and then the little paw pad is the heart and I prepped the paws already so we'll start let's start with the light pink first so we're going to do the pink and I just did the bottom of the cupcake you can kind of come up the sides a little bit and I'm just using pretty and pink uh, stampin up ink pad but you can pick any pink you like and then you could do this little cherry here. Let's see. I'm gonna do that in the pink as well. And I kind of want more on this one. And you could always hold this down and kind of come around the edges. And then at the top, kind of just do the top. And so the little cherry's done. So for the little heart, I'm using, um, like I always use the little Viker um, tool that I pick up my pieces. It does come with some tweezers in there. So you could always use the tweezers to gently hold the piece. Let's see if I can get that. Whoops. And that just came right out. So these are for her face, these little hearts. But you can kind of just come around here on the edges. So if you need, if you need to, or you could always come in with the marker and do the marker way. I've shown that, I think in some of my videos. I think when you're holding it with the, it's such a small piece, or you just don't do them at all. I think on this one here, I didn't do them. But, so that's one way you could do it. And I think I'm just gonna hold that. It's kind of. So you could do the tweezers, but I think because the piece was so tiny. So I just kind of held that down like so and did it because I bent that one. So that's just another way you can do that. So for the pink is all done. We've got the little paw pads done. And I'm not going to bother with the bottom of the cupcake. So my pink can go. And then for the white on the icing... You can kind of, I'm using this color here. Let me grab the pink pad. I'm just using what's left on the pad, but that's the Starlight Silver. I'm going to actually use that on this white just along the bottom because this goes on the cupcake right here. And then we could do these two as well. So this one goes on top. And so there's one, and we'll just do that one. Okay, we've got those done. Okay, so we're done with all that. So now we can go into the chocolate chip. And so for the little ears, I'm just using the dauber. You can use a brush or whatever you like. This color is kind of dark on here, but I thought it looked cute. So, and the papers I chose, I had this design. Well, this one is a shimmer cardstock for the little ears. And then I didn't use the shimmer side, so I put it down where, or put it up, facing up so I would have the color that I like. That's a basil cardstock. Same with that one. So the little muzzle. 
And we'll get that done. And then the little toes. And so the toe, I'm just going to come around the edge. Like so. And that's it. And then one arm. And we only need to do the outer side on that. So I already did the one. And then his leg. And you really aren't going to see the part that I just did. So really there's no sense in even bother, you know, even distressing that at all. And you can come in with a marker and I didn't prep and grab one. So let's just hope this one works. So for the little edge, cause you will see the one part here and see, I didn't do that one, but I'm going to just come in a little bit. Anyways, you can come in and do it or you could leave it. It really doesn't matter. I just used the light walnut for that. And so I think I've got all my pieces done. The body doesn't need to be done. So I'm going to go ahead and move those out of the way. So the first thing we want to start with are the ears. Typically, I start with the ears. And I'm just going to use the art glitter glue. And I just place some of the glue right here. And that way, if I can touch less of, you know, less glue, I'm better off because otherwise I will always have the glue on my hands, or, you know, make it a mess or get it on the, the little pieces. I tend to do better when I'm not touching. Some of the pieces you kind of have to. Oh, I'm getting down to the bottom of that this little my little wax thing let's see if it'll there we go I kind of had to pull a piece of wax off of it because I've used it so much okay so we can kind of just press that down and then we'll get the other the inner part of the ear on and I didn't grab my chalk I can just grab those out of the drawer right now I'll get those ready for Okay, so we have the little ears on. And so the next thing I want to do is add the arms and the body. And so I'm going to do that right now. So I'm just, again, I'm just going to add some of the glue on here. And try to place that. I don't know what I grabbed. There we go. Oops. I'm used to doing my videos early in the morning, but I had my granddaughters all weekend and my daughter just came and picked them up and I'm like, I want to do a video on this and, you know, get this done. So, so I'm kind of just putting the body right here to kind of help with placement. And so that looks good to me. So I'm going to add some on the back of this one just because it is a bigger piece. And then we can always take the head and see about where that's going to place. Yep. And that looks pretty good to me. Okay. So we have that on. We can go ahead and put the leg on as well. I want to get that on. And I think that looks good. Okay, so we have all that. And I gotta move it again because I could tell I moved it. Okay. I could always come in. All right, so I've got that part done. And then the next thing I wanna do is go ahead and get, I think I'm gonna do the cupcake. The cupcake you'll see on the bottom down here. There's a little um, spot to place it, and so it just kind of helps. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back. I'm hoping I can do one of the other ones that are in this file for this set. Okay, so now for... 
the little cupcake wrapper. I want to add all those little pieces. So I'm going to just start with a little bit of glue on here and then just start placing the pieces. And I kind of set them up right here, thinking that possibly is how I want them. So we'll start with this guy here because we're going to start with the red. And we just, we don't have to really worry about the top. We need to more so worry about the bottom um, being lined up. And I did not distress these pieces at all. Now you could come in with, if I was going to, I'd come in with a marker and do it. I would not even bother trying to line the, or trying to hold them and, you know, distress them. So we can kind of just do like that. And where's your next piece? And if I have any coming over, I could always trim that if I have to. Okay. So now I've got those pieces on there. So now I'm just going to add some more. This one just had a lot of little pieces um, for the bottom of the cupcake, but it's really not that bad. It's funny when you're cutting a bunch of them, you're like, oh my gosh, there's a lot of pieces. I try to separate them in my large tray together. Like each one goes, you know, with all the pieces instead of, um, I don't know, maybe you do that too. A lot of people probably do where you put all the pieces with each one. Um, so that way you can just grab the one and go. And we just have the two more. So we want the pink. Oops. We'll just put this pink one here. And then the red one. But it's going to go like so. Whoops. And I think I just flipped it. Let's see if I can grab that. I want it like that. So, I think that looks good. And if I want that bottom to be kind of on this one, I let my granddaughter use the blue scissors. Anyways, you could just trim those a little bit. There. I think that looks good. I just kind of trim the one. Okay. So now that I have that part done, I'm going to come up to the face and the face I didn't do. So the face I want to get like so. And you will see pretty much like all this right here. And you'll see of up here too. You can... Okay, I think that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and add this on. And I just put a lot of glue on the back. And I did use a design paper. I actually bought this paper for the color on the back when I bought it. I bought it at a warehouse sale. Uh, American Crafts used to do the warehouse sale and you could get packs of like 25 sheets of course of the same paper but for so cheap like a dollar a dollar fifty and so I just buy packs of them but anyway sometimes I would just buy them for the paper on the back okay so there's the face so now what I want to do is I'm gonna add on I want to get the cheeks a little bit of that I'm just using the stamping up chalks for this and then I'm using one of the brushes that I bought off of Amazon. I do try to put a link for the brushes and for the pin. <sighs> this one may have been the one I used for with some ink. I could tell because it's got a little bit left. Let me grab another one. Here, let me grab a smaller one. 
So this one's the same thing. It's a little smaller, but I had one of these I had, and I thought it was that one. You could tell, because if you've used it with the ink, I probably will have to put a little sticker on it just so I can write used with ink. And then I'm going to come in with some light. And I'm going to use the light again. And blow on that. Let's bring in got a little it's a little white there. Kind of mix it in. Okay. I think I'm doing that. Okay. I think we're good. I feel like there it is. All right. So on this one now, we can go ahead and add the little muzzle on. And I am going to leave some room at the top for placement of the eyes. There we go. You could always do a little bit of pink on here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and get the eyes at least placed. I'm just going to add the glue. Yeah, that looks good. You should be able to slide those under. I'm going to kind of tilt that corner up on that one. Don't need all those pieces. See if I can get those. I think that looks good. Let's see. Yep. Okay. And then I'll just get the blue on. <clears throat> Might as well get all the eye pieces done. And then we'll put the little black pieces on there whoops we'll put it we'll, we'll stick this one over <laughs> it's okay it all works okay all right i think that looks pretty good okay so we have those on i'm gonna go ahead and add his little nose right here That looks good. All right. So now we can come in and add our cupcake liner or cupcake icing. So, oops. And I didn't do the little distressing on the bottom of this one. So let's see. I think I'm going to do it on this side. So we just want to get the bottom of that. So you'll just see the bottom on this chocolate. So. Let's see if I can get that. Probably looks good. Okay. And then we'll go with the pink and just add some glue to the back of that. And I kind of want to just leave like so much. Okay. And then we'll grab the icing. I think I did that side. Let me distress that a little more. And 
I probably should have brought the arm out. I could see where I could have missed a little area right there. So let me grab, I figured the cupcake icing would cover that. But we'll just get a little bit of pin in there. Okay. I think that's okay. All right. And then we'll have one little heart right here. One of the red ones. that like so all right so I think I've got them all okay so we've got that done and then we can go ahead and place the this foot right here so let's go ahead and do that Okay, hopefully I don't move that. And then we can add the little toes. So you'll get, I think, one little and two big on that. Okay, and then we'll place the paws and the little paw pad right here that on and we're almost done I'm going to do the eyes and then add all the little sprinkles so you can kind of just place the paw will come down a little more And I got a little bit of glue on there, I could see. Okay, so for the little cupcake, let me... Uh, there's a heart there, and we're going to probably put one there. So we're going to do red heart there. I'm thinking I'll just place that one there. And then we have the brown heart I did right here. You can always add some little glitter or something to this. Boy, I'm having a good time with this glue today. <laughs> I'm going to have glue everywhere, I could already tell. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to add, I want to add the little stem to the cherry. That's what I said. If I touch glue, if it gets on my hands, I'll have it all over this piece. So I try not to, I try not to touch this glue too much, but on this piece here, I'm going to have to. Got to be able to move that. Boy, it's just giving me a time today, aren't you? Okay, there we go. I think I can get that. So now I want to do the icing. So I'm going to add. Oh, no, I don't. I want to do the eyes first. Sorry, you guys. Okay, let's go ahead with the eyes. So I'm going to grab some brown. Um, chalk and then I'm using the slanted brush on this and I'm just going to come in here and add and add some brown right down there and same with here because I can come in with the black after 
just want to add some brown. Okay, I'm thinking that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to use the, let's see, I think it's, I think I grabbed the 05. Hopefully that does a nice. Okay, so I'm going to do the little lashes here, and I'm kind of just doing some light ones. And curling them up. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to do a few down. And then on this side, I want to come Okay, I think that looks good. I think that's all right. And then I want a couple, so this is the 05. I'm gonna add some little black there. And then, um, oh, we guess we can use the same pen. The 05, let's go ahead and add a little bit of liner. On the on that and see how you can kind of see right here. There we go. I think that looks good. And then the chalk, when you come in with the chalk, you can soften that up. There. Okay. Now I'll bring in some of the black on this chalk. And just kind of maybe just a little more. I kind of try to blow it off of the um, the brush so it's okay. Let's see. <laughs> I think that looks okay. You could always come back in with more if you'd like. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to leave it. I'm going to use the white Posca pen on here. Boy. And then do a little white down there. And then we can add some here. And then I'm able to add the icing. I think I'm just going to get these whites here. And then a little materials. And you could even come up here. And maybe a little there and then I still have to put the rest on okay so we'll go ahead and get the icing and we're almost almost done this one took a little bit longer but that's okay so we want to kind of figure out how we want this icing to go and so you could kind of always bring it down if you want. It'll cover a little bit of the lashes. And I'm thinking that's probably good right there. And I do want a little bit of pink on these. There. Okay. And then I'm going to do one more icing right, right there. Oops. 
Let's move it like so. Okay, and then we can add the cherry. I, try, I cut all the pieces in the same pink, so I figured you could just darken it with the ink. That way you can, um, instead of having more colors, and then I did leave the sprinkles I left the sprinkles in the big tray, and so I can add those now. Let me move these chalks. I didn't want to touch them because I knew if I did, I'd probably end up losing them. <laughs> so I'm just going to add some, like, I'll start. That's way too much glue, I can already tell. So we'll just put one brown one there, one there. And I'm seeing what I forgot. You have a little teeny red heart for the cherry. Okay, so I'm going to do the browns. And definitely don't need a lot of glue. And of course, me, I added a lot. <laughs> so you could just kind of come in. I'm afraid to press that one down. I'll just have glue. Okay, and then so we want the little um, bright, I did cut out a bright pink on this one. So I'm going to place those right there. And we should have one more. I think it can go down here. You can kind of just place them however you want. That one can kind of go like that. And then I have um, some pink, some light pink. And I think I'm going to just do one there. I think I have enough to do three on here. But I don't know if I'm going to use. Actually, I have another bright pink, but I think I'm going to leave it off. So we can just put these light ones right here. There we go. And I think that's it on that. And I think we're done. Oh, so I did cover up one of the little white dots. You could always add it right there. And I think she's done. And so I do hope you enjoyed my video today. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, please follow. And thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.